The big question we're all asking this week is, does forensic science play a role in ensuring justice for all? Vinny Desidero from the National Institute of Standards and Technology is here to explain how standards implementation is a part of the answer. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you for this opportunity. So first, you're here this week opening up the annual uh, meeting plenary session. Can you give us a little bit of a preview of what's in store? Sure, absolutely. Um, we have a great session planned. I'd like to thank President Williams for the opportunity and entrusting myself and co-chair Dino DeCrease with assembling that session. We have four very dynamic speakers that are gonna uh, address the topic of justice for all from this forensic science perspective. Uh, that's Tiffany Roy, we have Sarah Chu, um, Adele Quigley McBride, and, and John Butler. Uh, it's going to be a very thought-provoking uh, session, so I hope everybody comes. I think it's something that everybody's going to be talking about for the rest of the week. Sounds like it's going to be action-packed. I think so. <laughs> so the issue of standards conformity continues to be a hot topic in this field. Where do we stand on implementing consistent standards? As, as everybody here knows, there's a lot of effort going forth um, to assemble the standards and develop the standards, but right now implementation is something that's kind of out in the air. Uh, implementation, kind of like accreditation and certification, is, it's a voluntary process. So nobody's really required to do it. So it's something that laboratories and agencies and practitioners have to make a decision, a conscious decision, to actually take those standards and put them into practice. Um, we're, we at NIST are trying to uh, capture some of the information to see how much implementation is actually going on. And it seems like a lot of labs are implementing the standards, but they're not necessarily declaring that implementation. So we want to try to capture more of that data and encourage laboratories to declare implementation so we can use that information to help feed the process, to improve the standards, um, find gaps where standards need to be created, and just make a much stronger um, national system of standards. What measures are being taken to ensure that the forensic sciences field has results that you can reproduce and trust? Well, that's pretty much the, the whole nature of standards, right? You know, if you think about the United States and how many, it's 50 states, and each state has villages and cities. If everybody had their own driving rules, it would be kind of a mess. Nobody would know what's a going nightmare. on. <laughs> exactly. Um, standards and forensic practice actually would help kind of set up a system like we have with our road systems so that everybody's on the same page, everybody's training in a similar manner, uh, and everybody's operating in the same fashion as well. And then on the other end of that, the way information is reported and passed off to triers of fact, and people who are going to interpret that information uh, in courtroom situations, they know how to approach it, where things are going, and how it was done. So it kind of streamlines the process. It adds consistency, yes. What further work needs to be done to bring forensic science closer to meeting these goals? Uh, really, the, the big question is the implementation question that you asked earlier. Um, <clears throat> the standards are there. They're being created. As, there's hundreds of volunteers that are putting forth excessive amounts of time to build these standards, create them. Uh, making sure that people are using them and that they're all consistent and harmonized is, is a big challenge, but also making sure that laboratories are implementing them. That, that's probably the biggest challenge with respect to standardization right now. The standards are there. We just have to make sure that people are using them um, in the best way possible, and then we're improving them based on the information as they're battle tested in that environment. Vinny, I know you've got a busy week ahead of you, so thank you for giving us a little bit of your time, and it's great to talk to you today. Thank you.